So it took me a while to get this going, uh, but I actually had to use some of my firearms uh, pegs. If you note here, they actually put some glue around it. So I, this one came out fairly well, but if you compare the two, see how this one's a little darker. I don't know if that means that they did whatever to it. Um, here's the Ryan Sword, Smith Signature, everything. Oh, look, his little golden dragon stuff came off. Ah, but the chemical treatment goes all the way down to the tang, as it seems. And we've got this laser stamp on it. Not sure what that's about. Okay. What did I do to disassemble this? Um, usually you use the little brass hammer, which would be the case. By the way, this thing's got weight to it. <laughs> all right. There. I don't know if you can. I mean, this is actually pretty solid. I thought it was cheaper than it looked, but it's it's pretty heavy. Um, one of the things I'll note is there is some excess metal back here. I don't like that, but uh, otherwise than that, this is pretty clean. There's uh, drill remains here. That's kind of cheap, and they're sharp. So they didn't actually clean the tank after they did the chemical treatment. They just chemically treated it and then drilled holes in it. That's that's pretty cheap. Oh well, here are the the sepa. I really stunked up, and that's it. I just thought you guys may want to look. That's interesting. That's uh. Took me a while. I, was, I had to actually move, as you see that uh, a little over just so I could get to each little side. It was kind of a pain. Anyway, that's uh, so the Ryan Sword disassembled. Um, tap, tap, tap on this. Let me show these pegs. Though it seemed one was way tighter than it should be. I mean, it, this should only take you maybe a couple of minutes lightly tapping it. That's it. Demon Sword out.